rainfall on Iran's Hormuz Island has once again revealed one of the country's most visually striking natural phenomena, briefly transforming the island's famous red beach into a dramatic shoreline awash in deep crimson tones. The rare event unfolded this week as seasonal rains swept across the otherwise arid island, loosening iron-rich soil from cliffs and hillsides and carrying it into the surrounding waters of the Persian Gulf. Yeah, for a short window of time, the meeting point between land and sea appeared almost unreal. Streams of red sediment flowed down toward the shore, staining the sand and spreading outward into the shallow coastal waters. As waves rolled in and receded, the water shifted through shades of rust maroon and dark red sharply contrasting with the vivid blues of the open gulf beyond. The effect was fleeting but powerful, leaving behind images that quickly drew attention both within Iran and internationally. Hormuz Island, though small in size, occupies a unique place in both geography and imagination. Situated in the Strait of Hormuz, the narrow maritime corridor connecting the Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Oman, the island lies at the heart of one of the world's most strategically significant waterways. Yet despite its proximity Proximity to global shipping lanes and geopolitical flashpoints, Hormuz itself is defined less by politics and more by its extraordinary natural features. The island is part of Iran's Hormozgan province and lies roughly 1,080 kilometers south of Tehran. Its climate is predominantly hot and dry with long periods of intense heat and minimal rainfall. For most of the year, the landscape is shaped by sun and wind rather than water, leaving the soil exposed and the terrain stark. When rain does arrive, typically during winter or early spring, it can dramatically alter the island's appearance. The red beach is the most famous expression of this transformation. Even under dry conditions, the sand and surrounding cliffs display a pronounced reddish hue. This coloration is caused by high concentrations of iron oxide within the soil and rock formations. Iron oxide, the same compound responsible for rust, gives the earth its deep red tone and has been accumulating in this region for millions of years through geological processes. When rainfall occurs, water acts as a catalyst. It loosens fine mineral particles embedded in the soil, allowing them to be carried downhill by gravity. On Hormuz Island, where slopes often lead directly to the shoreline, this runoff flows straight into the sea. The result is a vivid plume of red sediment that spreads along the coast before gradually dissipating. Scientists and geologists emphasize that the phenomenon is entirely natural. It is not the result of pollution, chemical discharge or algae blooms. Instead, it reflects the island's unique mineral composition and the interaction between land and water in an arid environment. Similar processes occur in other parts of the world with iron-rich soils, but few places display the effect as clearly or dramatically as Hormuz. The timing of this year's rainfall made the event particularly notable. Rain is relatively rare on the island and sustained precipitation is even less common. When it does occur, it often comes in short, intense bursts rather than prolonged storms. These sudden downpours are especially effective at mobilizing surface sediment, creating the conditions necessary for the crimson, crimson transformation. For residents of Hormuz Island, the event is both familiar and exceptional. Many have witnessed similar scenes in previous years, yet each occurrence feels unique because of its unpredictability. The exact intensity, duration, and visual impact depend on rainfall volume, tidal conditions, and wind patterns. In some years, the red coloration remains close to shore, in others, it spreads farther into the water, creating sweeping bands of color visible from elevated um, viewpoints. Visitors, by contrast, often encounter the phenomenon for the first time. In recent years, Hormuz Island has become an increasingly popular destination for domestic tourism. Travelers are drawn by its unusual landscapes, which include multicolored mountains, salt domes, rocky valleys, and quiet beaches untouched by large-scale development. The Red Beach, in particular, has become a focal point for photographers and nature enthusiasts. Social media has amplified the island's visibility. Images of red waves lapping against crimson sand circulate widely whenever the phenomenon occurs, often prompting disbelief among viewers unfamiliar with the island's geology. While some initially question the authenticity of the scenes, experts consistently confirm that the coloration is real and temporary, driven entirely by natural processes. Beyond its visual appeal, the red soil of Hormuz Island carries economic and cultural significance. Locally known as Gelak, the mineral-rich earth has been used for generations in traditional practices. Historically, it has served as a pigment for crafts, a coloring agent in certain foods, and a component in local remedies. 
Its distinctive hue and texture made it valuable long before modern tourism brought wider attention to the island. In more recent times, limited quantities of the soil have been exported for specialized uses. Galak is sometimes used in cosmetics and industrial pigments where its natural color and mineral properties are valued. However, extraction is tightly regulated. Authorities and environmental advocates have raised concerns about over-harvesting, emphasizing the need to protect the island's fragile ecosystem. Hormuz Island's geological uniqueness is the result of complex processes spanning millions of years. The island sits atop a salt dome, a geological structure formed when underground salt deposits push upward through overlying rock layers. This movement brings a variety of minerals to the surface, creating the island's distinctive palette of reds, yellows, whites and browns. The red beach is just one visible expression of this deeper geological story. Environmental experts note that the island's beauty is inseparable from its vulnerability. The same conditions that create such striking landscapes also make them susceptible to damage. Foot traffic, unauthorized soil collection and unregulated development can alter surface layers and disrupt natural drainage patterns. In response, local authorities have increasingly emphasized conservation and responsible tourism. Efforts to promote sustainable travel on Hormuz Island include awareness campaigns encouraging visitors to observe rather than disturb the environment. Signs and guides remind tourists not to remove soil or rocks and community-led initiatives aim to balance economic opportunity with preservation. The goal is to ensure that future generations can witness the island's natural phenomena without degradation. In Kicking, the island's location in the Strait of Hormuz adds an additional layer of global relevance. The strait is one of the most critical choke points for international energy markets, with a significant portion of the world's oil and liquefied natural gas shipments passing through its waters. While geopolitical tensions in the region often dominate headlines, the Red Beach phenomenon offers a reminder that the strait is also part of a living natural system. Marine scientists point out that sediment runoff from the island has minimal long-term impact on the surrounding ecosystem. The iron-rich particles are quickly diluted and redistributed by tides and currents. Within days, the water returns to its typical clarity and marine life continues largely unaffected. This resilience underscores the dynamic balance between land and sea in coastal environments. For Iran, scenes from Hormuz Island provide a counterpoint to more familiar narratives. International coverage of the country often focuses on politics, sanctions and regional tensions. The Crimson Shoreline, by contrast, highlights Iran's environmental diversity and cultural richness. It presents an image of the country rooted in natural wonder rather than conflict. The phenomenon also invites broader reflection on climate and weather patterns in the Middle East. While there is no evidence that Hormuz Island's red beach events are becoming more frequent, scientists continue to study how changing climate conditions may affect rainfall distribution in arid regions. Even small shifts in precipitation can have outsized visual and ecological effects in landscapes accustomed to dryness. For local communities, the rain brings mixed feelings. While it creates spectacular scenery and draws visitors, it can also disrupt daily life on an island with limited infrastructure. Roads may become muddy and services can be temporarily affected, yet the overall sentiment tends to be one of appreciation, as rainfall is a rare and valuable resource in such an environment. As the rain subsides and the tides continue their work, the crimson hues gradually fade. The red sediment settles back onto the beach or disperses into the gulf, leaving behind a shoreline that, while still reddish, no longer appears dramatically transformed. The island returns to its quieter state, its colours muted by dry air and bright sunlight. What remains are images, memories and a renewed sense of connection between geology and weather. The event serves as a reminder that landscapes are not static, even in places that appear unchanging for much of the year. On Hormuz Island, a single rainstorm can briefly redraw the boundary between land and sea, revealing the hidden chemistry of the earth beneath. In the end, the crimson spectacle is not simply a visual curiosity. It is a moment where time, minerals and climate intersect, offering a glimpse into processes that have shaped the island for millennia.
For those who witness it firsthand, the red waves of Hormuz Island are unforgettable. For those who see it from afar, they offer a powerful image of nature's ability to surprise, even in the most familiar places.